course with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Now, there's something new and amazing right on the Cheerios package, a picture that actually moves. Look for the Magic Wiggle picture, free on specially marked Cheerios packages. You've never seen anything like it. Just pick up the box and your Wiggle picture springs to lifelike action. It actually moves. And there are six different Wiggle pictures in all, one on every Cheerios package. Pegleg the Pirate opens his treasure chest. Freddy the Fiddler plays his violin. Leopold Lion roars at a bird. Flipper the Seal balances a ball. Reginald Rabbit eats a carrot. And Happy Watha the Indian paddles his own canoe. Yes, they all move. And they're all in full color, made of sturdy plastic. So get all six magic wiggle pictures. Amaze your friends with their lifelike action. Use them in dozens of ways, as hair clips, bookmarks, and badges. Magic Wiggle Pictures, now free on every specially marked package of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power. With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Hooray! and Tonto had been following the trail of two killers named Whitey Ransom and Lefty Spencer for several days. Late one night, the tracks disappeared. Early the next morning, the masked man and his Indian friend were still looking for them. They rode slowly in the Calicut Mountains, 20 miles north of the town of Big Falls in central Arkansas. Tonto frowned and shook his head. Me sure we find cracks near here, Kimasabi? We follow them into the mountains. If crooks leave mountains, then sure leave cracks. We'll separate to look for the trail. That way we'll be able to cover more ground. Ah, that good idea. I'll meet you at our old campsite near Pioneer Rock at sundown. Me savvy. I'll see you later. Uh huh. Get him up, scout. Oh, The masked man rode through the hills for several hours, studying the ground carefully, hoping to find some trace of the outlaws. Shortly after noon, he found a set of hoof prints. <laughs> he dismounted to examine them. <laughs> the discovery was disappointing. There were tracks of only one rider, and the right front shoe of the horse he rode was loose. The lone ranger was about to mount when a twig snapped in the brush nearby. Don't reach for those guns, mister. You're covered. You surprise me. Keep your hands up. Very well. Raising his hands to shoulder level, the masked man watched the heavy underbrush that concealed the gunman. As it parted, a clean-shaven, ruddy-faced man appeared, wearing a sheriff's badge on his buckskin vest. That's it, mister. Just keep your hands where they are and we'll have no trouble. I'm not often caught off guard like this, Sheriff. <laughs> I reckon not. A fellow wearing a mask can't afford to be caught off guard. If you think I've been described on handbills, you're mistaken. I don't know of any other reason for a man to hide his face. I'll take the guns from the holsters. With a shrug that indicated he planned no resistance, the Lone Ranger slowly lowered his hands to the brace of colts around his waist. He gripped the ivory handles. Now heist those six-shooters slow. That's it. Slowly, the weapons cleared leather. 
A split second later, the right-hand gun roared. Hey, what are you... Silver bullet smashed the sheriff's gun. The enraged lawman shouted furiously. You dirty, no-good, double-crossing crook. I should have gunned you on sight instead of giving you a chance to outsmart me. I'm sorry I had to do that, Sheriff. Not half as sorry as you're going to be. I plan to give you fair and square treatment until I found out who you are. But now, by Juniper... Hey, I'll... I'll holster my guns and identify myself. What? Yes, I have letters of identification with me. I often find this necessary to convince lawmen I'm not an outlaw. Uh, not a crook? This letter is from Captain Daniels of the Texas Rangers. That letter might have been forged. I wouldn't recognize the captain's signature if I saw it. You'll recognize the signature of the governor of this state. Yeah, of course I will. Then read this. Is that it? Uh, to whom it may concern... The bearer of this letter is a personal friend who has served the rider and the cause of justice. The, the Lone Ranger. The signature is genuine, Sheriff. So is the state seal. You, you're the Lone Ranger? Yes. Doggone, I've heard of you. Oh? I heard you were mighty fast with your guns. And now that I've seen you in action, I know you weren't overrated. Oh, thanks. Oh, here's your letter, mister. I Thank you. I apologize for figuring you were dodging the law. <laughs> You're not the first man to make that mistake, Sheriff. You're a friend of the governor, huh? I had the privilege of meeting him several times. Did you know he's in trouble? No. Well, that's one of the reasons I happen to be here in these hills. What do you mean? I'm tracking his son. Bob? Yeah. What happened? Well, a little over six months ago... Four of the governor's political enemies figured a way to collect almost a million dollars in graft if they could get Governor Morgan to look the other way while they were collecting it. Governor Morgan's too honest to do that. They knew he was honest. They likewise knew his son Bob was the apple of his eye. They framed the boy for robbery. What? They framed him tight as a drum. Then went to the governor with statements from lying witnesses. Well, I reckon the boy got scared. He knew those crooks could ruin his dad if they spread the story throughout the state as they planned. And he, he lost his head. What do you mean? He ran away, figuring to save his dad a lot of grief. That's too bad. A week later, the governor forced a confession from one of the conspirators. The whole scheme split wide open, ruining everyone who had a hand in it. Good. But the governor hasn't seen his son since the boy left home. Has he heard from him? No, as far as the governor could find out, Bob just disappeared. I figure he's been traveling like an owl hoot on the dodge, you know, steering clear of towns and places where he might be recognized. Hmm. A month ago, a bunch of handbills came in from the capital describing Bob. The fine print on the bottom explains the whole situation and offers a reward to anyone who supplies information about the boy. Oh, here, I've... Got a copy of the handbill right in my pocket. Let's see, Bob's about 18 now. Have you met him? Oh, yes. In that case, you'll recognize this picture of him. It's a good likeness. Oh, about 10 o'clock this morning, Bob rode into Big Falls. I was in my office when I spotted him. He'd stopped in front of the general store. One of these handbills was posted right in front of him. Did he see it? Yeah. He didn't stop long enough to read the print on the bottom. Before I could cross the street, he was in the saddle and on his way out of town. I see. Well, I sent a telegram to his father and started after him. I trailed him this far. Well, then you showed up. Are these his tracks? They're his, all right. I'll bet my last dollar he figures he's being hunted for robbery. This handbill's misleading, Sheriff. At first glance, it looks as if he's wanted for a crime. Well, at least the boy's alive. Knowing that much will mean a lot to his dad. Uh, I'll help you follow his trail. Fine. I left my horse ground hitched in the brush. I'll go get him. Good. Easy, steady, fellow. Easy there. Get up now. Get up. Get up. Oh, yeah. When I saw you examining those tracks, I took you for a bounty hunter on the trail of a reward. Otto and I were looking for the tracks of a couple of killers, Sheriff. We uh, lost their trail last night. I was hoping to pick it up again when I stopped here. What killers are you talking about, mister? Whitey Ransom and Lefty Spencer. Mm, I never heard of them. They're wanted in Kansas. If you follow them this far, that means they're in my territory. I hope we'll be able to capture them before they travel much farther. Meanwhile, I'll do whatever I can to help you locate Bob Morgan. 
Well, I'm not qualified to speak for the governor, but if I were in his shoes, I'd appreciate all the help I could get. Come on, Silver. Get up then. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. For your health's sake, enjoy a big bowl full of cereal and milk every morning. Quick to prepare, economical to serve, and delicious to eat. It's nature's winning combination for flavor and nutrition. Every serving of cereal and milk gives you essential vitamins, minerals, and quickly available food energy. Every serving gives you the delicious flavor of your favorite cereal and the cool refreshment of fresh whole milk. Yes, cereal and milk are natural partners working for you. So put them to work on your breakfast table every morning. It's the energy way to start the day. Niacin, iron, thiamine, protein, calcium, all the vital nutrients you need for work or play are to be found in one ounce of good grain cereal and one half cup of milk. So remember cereal and milk when you plan breakfast. Make them an important part of every breakfast you serve. to continue. Eighteen-year-old Bob Morgan had dismounted beside a clear stream. He filled his canteen. Then, while his weary horse drank the cool water, Bob took a piece of hardtack from his saddlebag. He was tired and in more trouble than he knew how to handle. Now he realized the folly of running away from a frame-up. But the handbill he had seen in town convinced him that it was too late to go back. With dull, hopeless eyes, he stared at the stream of water. Then he heard the hoofbeats of approaching riders. Before he could step out of sight, Whitey Ransom saw him. The prematurely gray outlaw shouted, Hold on, stranger, what's your hurry? In their flight from a murder that had netted them less than a hundred dollars, the two killers had already spent the ill-gotten loot. <laughs> Broke and planning another robbery, Whitey and Lefty halted. As Bob swung to the saddle. Steady, fellow. Easy. That's so fast, stranger. I stopped to water my horse and fill my canteen. I'll be on my way. You carrying any grub? Just a few pieces of hardtack. We'll make sure that. Hit the ground. Hey, what's the idea of the gun? You heard my partner dismount. All right. Steady, fellow. I don't savvy why you're drawing guns on me. We're helping ourselves to your cash and grub. <laughs> You mean this is a robbery? That's right. Well, you're due for a disappointment. I've mighty little left to steal. Easy there. <laughs> Catch him, Lefty. I'll keep him covered. Yeah, right. Take his gun first. Sure thing. Just keep your hands up, stranger. Hey, there's a rider coming. Don't try calling for help unless you want to die sudden. That rider's heading this way. We'll take care of him when he shows up. All you got to do is keep your mouth shut. Moments later, Tonto rounded a turn in the trail and saw the three men beside the stream and a gun in Whitey Ransom's hand. All right, Ancient. I'll blow you from the saddle. Who's got it, fella? Tonto! Bob. Bob Morgan. Don't got it, Tonto. You rode into a trap. These two heard you coming in the the ground, Ancient. We know each other, Whitey. He's got easy, fella. And me know you, too. You what? They're crooks, Tano. They tried to rob me. Them killers, Bob. Where are you? Hold it, Lefty. You're just too smart. You heard what this fella called him, didn't you? Eh? His name's Tano. Right, fella? That's right, but that's not... I've heard that name before. Where? In prison, ten years ago, when I served time for robbing a Wells Fargo stage. A redskin named Tano travels with a masked man known as the Lone Ranger. (laughs) The bold ranger. I reckon you heard of him? Yeah. We're lucky the masked man wasn't with him. Now get his guns. Yeah, all right. But you better watch him mighty close. Don't worry. Try a fast move, Tano, and I'll gun you and your friend, Savvy. 
Me savvy. I, I'm mighty sorry this happened, Tonto. It's all right, Bob. How you come here? Oh, that's a long story. Oh, that not sound good. If these two crooks hadn't been here waiting for you, I'd... I'd have been mighty glad to see you. I need help. You in trouble? Yes. Yeah. I've got his guns ready. Good. Now try and gag those two. The sooner we get away from here, the better. You gonna leave them alive? For all we know, the Lone Range is around here somewhere. If he's close enough to hear gunshots, he'll come to investigate. Yeah, that's true. Our best bet's to leave these two, take their horses, and clear out. Now get busy. Afraid that the Lone Ranger might appear at any moment, Lefty tied and gagged the prisoners quickly, while Whitey kept them covered. After emptying Tonto's pockets, he swung to the saddle. The sun was beginning to set when they hurried away, leading Tonto's horse Scout and Bob's Gray. Get up, get up there. Come on. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Sheriff Slim Dallas were still following Bob's trail. As the tracks veered to the right, they halted. Oh, I'll have to leave you here, Sheriff. I'm to meet Tonto at Pioneer Rock. I'll ride with you. Then the three of us can come back and pick up Bob's trail again. All right. I know a shortcut that'll get us to the rock in no time. All right, lead the way. I'll follow you. Come on. Get on. Come on. Come on. Fifteen minutes later, the masked man and the sheriff reached the celebrated rock. Beside a trail, pioneers had blazed through the mountain. Easy, Silver. Easy. Easy. Guiding Silver uphill to the top of the granite landmark that stood twenty feet high, the Lone Ranger led the way to an old campsite he and Tonto often used. From there, he and the sheriff had a clear view of the trail. I thought I knew these mountains, but this is one place I've never been before. It's an ideal place to camp. <laughs> hey, riders heading this way. Yes. Four of them, I'd say, from the sound of those hoofbeats. <laughs> hey, what? Relax, Sheriff. Oh, your horse startled me for a minute. I think Silver recognizes one of the horses heading here. Hollow must be with... There. there are the riders. I see them on the trail. There are only two riders, Sheriff. They're leading two horses. You're right. Steady, Silver. Easy. Hey, where are you going? That paint horse belongs to Tonto. The man leading him is Whitey Ransom. You sure? I'd recognize that killer anywhere. Is he there? Is the fellow with him Lefty Spencer? Yes. I'll ride downhill and wait for them. Come on, Silver. Get up there. Sheriff Dallas followed the Lone Ranger downhill to Pioneer Rock. There, they concealed their horses and waited for the outlaws to approach. Getting those two will be as easy as falling off a log. This is a fine place for an ambush. Yeah. A few minutes later, Lefty and Whitey reached the rock. The masked man and the sheriff stepped from the place of concealment with guns drawn. Stop where you are. Stop those horses or I'll pull your heads off. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You're covered, so don't try a fast move. Hey, Whitey, it's a masked man. And a lawman, drop your guns. Not till I kill you. The frightened killers took a desperate chance. They drew guns. The Lone Ranger's Colts roared first. Lefty's gun was smashed as a bullet in the arm threw Whitey from the saddle. Stunned by the fall, Whitey lay motionless. My hand is... I'll keep this one covered, mister, while you see how badly his pals hurt. All right, Sheriff. Don't shoot. My hands are up. You're smart. You'll keep them high. Oh. On your feet, Whitey. Oh, I'm hurt. I'll bandage your wound. Then you and your friend have a lot of questions to answer. A few minutes later, Whitey's wound was bandaged and the prisoners' hands were tied. But they sullenly refused to tell where or how they had gotten Tonto's horse. All right, you don't have to talk. We'll follow your back trail. Good idea, mister. The tracks are bound to lead to Tonto and the other rider they stole a horse from. Uh, he's right, Whitey. All right, get going, you two. Oh, no, wait, I'll talk. I'll tell you where to find the redskin, Mr. Powell. Shut up, Lefty. Why tell him anything? I better as well tell him. Find out anyway. The two of them were tied and gagged in the hills near a running stream. Uh, only one stream goes through these hills. We left them near a stand of pine. I know the place. Let's go, Sheriff. Right. 
And if either of you critters try anything... Don't worry. We know when we're licked. Then get going. Get up there. Get up. Yeah. Darkness was falling when they found Tonto and Bob Morgan. Soon Tonto and Bob were astride their own horses. The governor's son grinned happily for the first time in many months as the sheriff finished explaining what had happened since he left home. Your dad's been worried half sick about you, Bob. He got the handbills out as a last resort. I would have contacted him, but I was I was afraid the rats who framed me might intercept the message. I didn't know they confessed the truth. Why did you run away, Bob? I was scared, mister. I knew I was innocent, and so did Dad. But the men who framed me had done such a good job, I, I never could prove that I, I was in the clear. I didn't tell anyone I was going. I took some money I'd saved, some clothes, and I left. But, Dad, rather, didn't you know you were running out on your dad at a time when he needed you most? I know now I was foolish. You can't solve any problem by running away from it, Bob. I found that out. Let's get back to town. The telegraph office will still be open. Good. I'll send Dad word and start for home right away. I'll put these killers in jail. A few days later, the governor and his son were reunited in the governor's mansion in the state capitol. In answer to Bob's questions, his father assured him... Conway and his crooked friends are behind bars, Bob. Sheriff Dallas said you got a complete confession from Conway. That's right, son. Those scoundrels will be out of circulation for a long time. You look tired, Dad. I haven't had a night's sleep since you left. I... I'm sorry I lost my head. I... I thought I was helping you. I understand, son. I've learned something while I've been away. Oh? Next time I've got trouble to face, I'll meet it as a man should, head on. That's the kind of talk I like to hear. <laughs> it's the kind of talk I heard from our friend. Yeah, who's that? The Lone Ranger. copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to the Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.